That's a, the poem I wrote for my girlfriend. Uh, give us the first three lines. But what can I give her but a mind full of contradictions, bloody memory? Nothing but boundless love with a thousand sorrows and a thousand raging hopes. We spent a lot, a lot of nights in some Lisbon bar till the morning came and discussed about what I was saying with that and what I feel and what is behind it, which is um, you are you, I am me, we love each other, we do our thing. Let's have a blast, you know. Sounds exciting. Yeah, it's very stressful sometimes as well. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Konstantin Arnold and I live in Lisbon. Here is my work, because as a writer it's fucking shit. You never see that you build a chair or build a bed or build a house. So I put this up, look at it with a drink and think, yeah. Nice one. What's this? Three books. This is since I'm in Lisbon. So this is number 12. And you can see, I don't know if I still already was with Katarina, because when I was with Katarina the notes pages became Nothing at full. This is the day I met God. Oh really? Yeah. It was a Madrid hotel room. Me and Katarina were fighting for the whole evening. And then she messaged me next day, lunch? Question mark. And the lunch solves all our problems. Went to the hotel, bought some bottle of, of drinks, and then I cried as well. And God turned up what, God turned in the, up and said, in, this in, is in it. the cocktail glass? This or? is this is the, the limit of what you can feel in life. This was satisfaction, fulfillment, the end. We all should be less pretentiousness with each other. And uh, my mother always said, if you have that confidence about you, share it with others and encourage others to, to live the best life they can. How long have you been in Lisbon? In August, they celebrate four years of living here. Well, Lisbon is a village, it's not a city at all. It's so poetic that I walk home at night slightly buzzed and I smile like a kid full of happiness. I cry when I leave, honestly. That's usually what people pick up the most about me. I don't have a smartphone, no Instagram. Pronto, vamos! What I love about this party, when you come from the top of Alfama, or like almost Grasse, you come through the gnarly little alleys and then all of a sudden, at night, you come out on this Prasa and you see the Panteão just <laughs> And then you stand here alone in the middle of the night and just look at the light, that's it. This is what I love here. Lisbon slows you down. I always say this, but my mom doesn't like to hear it. But I'd rather die here than live anywhere else. I have a friend from Sousa. How are you? Everything fine, Sr. Tony? It's here, it's here. It's an article about you, completely. Do you know everybody in this town? Yes, the restaurants, the coffee places, the shoe cleaners. Hello, Sr. This is your book. This is the book. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Read me the last line. The last line of the book? Yeah. This is the end of a story of a beautiful beginning. We're asking life to show us that it can be more beautiful. Otherwise, this heaviness of this happiness would be completely unbearable. The end. <laughs> That's a good way to end this video, man. Thank you very much. That was emotional.